everyone, we're here with Jan, who is uh, the Visual Studio Code engineer uh, who helps us understand Maven and how to get started with Visual Studio Code and Java. Uh, Jan, introduce yourself. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Jan, and I'm a software engineer from Microsoft. And I'm also a committer of uh, Eclipse JDTLS project. And I'm mainly working on VS Code Java extensions. And as you all know, they are all open source projects. So uh, if you are interested in that, uh, welcome to contribute. And you showed me something today, and I can't wait for the audience to see the demo, something I didn't know about Maven and Visual Studio Code and how to get started. OK, so you're going to uh, show us the demo here. I'm going to take myself off. Uh, good luck, and let's, let's get started. Yeah, OK. Yeah, today I'm going to show you how to develop a Maven project in VS Code. Uh, so here, this is a, a VS Code window. Uh, so if you, you uh, ha haven't had a VS Code installed, go to download one and install it. it it's super, super powerful and lightweight. Yeah. Uh, so all you need to develop a Maven project is first, uh, you have to ha have a, a Maven distribution installed on your machine. So first, let's uh, open a terminal and uh, check it. Uh, Maven version. OK, uh, here we go. If you see the output correctly uh, here, showing the Maven version, then everything is OK. And another one you need is uh, extension pack for Java. So in here in VS Code window, you see the extensions uh, button and click it and search Java. And you will list all the Java related extensions uh, from Marketplace. So on the top of the list is the extension pack for Java. And uh, in this pack, we have plenty of uh, extension. Uh, for example, basic language support for Java and uh, also including the Maven extension we're going to introduce today here. And I have already installed uh, them beforehand. So let's get started. So after you install the extension pack for Java, you'll see a create Java project button here. And uh, we're going to create a Maven project from here. So let's click it. And you'll see uh, besides uh, Maven, you can also create Gradle project Spring Boot. But today we're focusing focus on Maven. Yeah, uh, to create a Maven project, you usually uh, choose an archetype and uh, generate a project from this archetype. So let's uh, select a simple one, uh, Maven quick, pick, uh, quick Start. OK, the version of the archetype, choose the latest one. OK, now we provide uh, the group ID. Let's use the default one. And uh, this is the artifact uh, ID of the project. So let's call Maven demo quick pick. Yes, and the target folder. So as you can see, it, it runs a Maven command to create your project. OK, I have to specify the version of the project. Here is the one. Yeah, confirm. OK, so it's created. Let's open it. OK, it tells me whether to trust the folder. Of course, I created it. OK, so now we have a Maven project created and opened in VS Code. So here, I can view my projects here. OK, it's a Java projects view listing the, the, the structure of the projects. But we are not going to focus on the, this view. We are focus, focusing on Maven view here. Yeah, in this view, uh, it will list all the Maven projects uh, in your workspace. And uh, expanding it, you see life cycles, plugins, and dependencies. And uh, in the life cycles, we uh, list uh, a bunch of uh, most commonly used uh, faces. So you can easily run this command by a click. So I click this button, and it assembles the Maven command here. Let's scroll up a little bit the maven clean command and uh, appending the pom file, uh, pass of the pom file and the command is uh, successfully executed so and the plugins uh, let's expand it uh, 
it lists all the plugins uh, it introduced in your uh, POM file. And one thing, to uh, one thing to mention that here we have also a button to uh, help you uh, quickly open your POM file related to the uh, this project. So that is also very convenient. And now let's go to the dependencies. Uh, I'll tell you the dependencies uh, feature is very pow powerful. Here you can see the it lists the JUnit, uh, which is uh, introduced in the POM file here. Let's uh, close the terminal. Here in the POM file, uh, we introduced the uh, JUnit here. And you can see the dependencies uh, of JUnit is a uh, ham press call. And uh, one thing to mention that is uh, if you uh, press control and uh, click the JUnit, you can also navigate to the POM file of the library. And we can see the ham crest core is introduced here, 1.3. And uh, one powerful feature I want to introduce is uh, we can uh, resolve dependency conflict conveniently with the help of the Maven Explorer. As you all know that Maven developers always uh, have to deal with uh, com dependency conflicts to inspect and find out the conflicts and resolve it. So first I'm going to manually construct a conflict. So let's uh, introduce a library with a different uh, version of Hamcrest core. So press F1, or you can just uh, from the menu help and show all commands, a control shift P is also the shortcut. And if you are new to VS Code, uh, this is the uh, entry of all the commands. You, you can always find the useful commands here. And let's say Maven added, oh, it's here, add a dependency. And click it and type some uh, keywords. Uh, Hamcrest library. So it, it sends uh, the keywords to the Maven Central repository and returns uh, the result. So here we are, click it. And here you see uh, it adds the corresponding dependency node here. So let's save it. And you see the dependency list is refreshed and a warning here uh, telling us that uh, there's a conflict here. And by right click of the conflict node, We'll see three entries. Like we can go to definition, uh, which is uh, where the uh, cam press core is introduced. Yeah. And another one is go to effective dependency. Okay, to find out which one is actually conflict with uh, this 1.3. Okay, we are going to resolve it. So here you can see we put a, a button here to resolve conflicts. So let's say uh, Maven has its default, uh, Maven has its own uh, dependency me mechanism. So here uh, for the moment, it choose uh, 2.2 2 .2 as the effective version of the Hamcrest call. So what if I want to use 1.3 to make sure JUnit is 100% uh, working well, right? So we can click this button and it will list all the version detect on your project. And you, you see 2.2 .2 is effective now and we choose 1.3. So now it inserts a dependency management node in your POM file to lock the version to 1.3. So after we save the POM file, flashing the dependency list, you see the dependency conflict has been resolved and everything is fine now. So cool, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, that's uh, my demo about the Maven extension. That, that I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that a lot of people didn't know about that. I didn't know about that before this interview and it is very impressive. 
Uh, Jan, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming on today uh, for this uh, this interview and also this uh, demonstration. And yeah, developers can get started with uh, Visual Studio Code, with Java, with the language pack. And we look forward to actually seeing you again soon and also uh, some great new initiatives that your, your team is going to uh, deliver. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Yeah.